Okay, so this one's a titration um, problem. Uh, again, I, I've recorded more titration problems, but uh, this one's a nice one. It says, um, a 25.0 mil sample of vinegar, which is dilute acetic acid, it, and then it gives you the molecular formula for vinegar, is titrated and found to react with 94.7 mils of a 0.2 molar NaOH solution. What is the molarity of the acetic acid solution? And then it goes on to give you the double displacement reaction equation, or the acid base. Remember, acid base are always double displacements. Okay? So it goes on to give you the balanced reaction equation, which is that. Okay? If this wasn't balanced for us, we would have to balance it first. Okay? But since it is, we're not going to. So the first thing I guess we want to remember is that when we're titrating something, it takes a, a mole to mole ratio of the things that are presented in the balanced uh, chemical equation to reach that equivalence point. Okay? So what, we'll, what we see here is that we've got a molarity of NaOH, a volume of NaOH. So we should, from those two things, be able to get the moles of NaOH. We've got the volume uh, of acetic acid, but we don't have the moles. And it's looking for the molarity of the acetic acid solution. So what is that? Okay, so that's what we're looking for. We've got the volume. All we need is the number of moles. Okay, so let's go about figuring this out. So the first thing I like to do is change this molarity symbol to moles per liter. Okay, so if you want to, moles of NaOH per liter. And this is the number of mils of NaOH. So we want to convert that to liters, or this to milliliters. I um, like to convert things to liters. So how do we do that? 1,000 Okay, so the molarity of NaOH we've got here. So let's figure out how many moles are in this many liters of NaOH. That's what we're doing next, okay? So how do I do that? All I've, I've got per liter here, and I've got liter there, so all I gotta do is take this number and multiply it by that there. Because this is, of course, liters of NaOH. Okay, so. Doing that should give us the number of moles. Right? So, so three and three. So this one's going to be a three. So zero point zero one eight nine moles. okay to that point? We got moles of NaOH. So from here, right, we've got moles of NaOH, we've got the reaction equation, and we've got the mills or volume of acetic acid. So remember, to get the molarity of acetic acid, we need moles of acetic acid. So from here, we should be able to get the moles of acetic acid using some conversion factor. That conversion factor, of course, you all are about to tell me is the reaction equation. I know, so I'll um, save you the trouble. So one mole of NaOH from the reaction equation gives one mole of C2H4O2, which is acetic acid. So whatever this is. And we've 
we've got Mills here. So, 1,000 mils, one liter. It just happens to work out to be the same in this particular problem. Promise. 